Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a quick comparison review of four of the most popular GCI outdoor chairs. So first we're going to show you the chairs that we're reviewing, then we're going to cover the specific features of each chair, then last we're going to go over our favorite picks based on fit and comfort. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this one here is the Sunshade Comfort Pro Chair. It has a weight rating of 300 pounds, and this is the color Cinnamon Red. This here is the Sunshade Pod Rocker. This has a weight rating of 250 pounds, and this color is Royal Blue. Here we have the Sunshade Rocker. This has a weight rating of 250 pounds, and this color is Pewter Gray. And last but not least, we have the Road Trip Rocker. This has a weight rating of 250 pounds, and this color is Midnight. Now for the features, we'll begin with the Road Trip Rocker. As you can see, this does rock. It does not come with a built-in sunshade. It has solid armrests that are made of plastic. It has one cup holder mounted on the side, and this chair does have a mesh back. Next, we have the Sunshade Rocker. This does rock. It comes with a sunshade that's built in. It has soft armrests. One armrest has a cup holder. The other has an attached sleeve for a cell phone. And this chair does have a mesh back. Moving right along, we have the Pod Rocker. It has an adjustable sunshade. There's no notable armrest. However, it does have a little extra material here on the sides that does give you just enough room to rest your elbows on, and it's actually pretty comfortable. This has a side-mounted cup holder and cell phone sleeve. This doesn't have a full mesh back, but it does have a couple small mesh openings along the sides. And here we have the Sunshade Comfort Pro. This chair is stationary and does not rock. It does have a sunshade. It has soft armrests with a cup holder on one side and a cell phone sleeve on the other. This does have a full mesh back. Now each of us are going to go over our picks based on comfort and size. Now for reference, I'm about 5'1", and I'm going to start with the Comfort Pro Sunshade. First off, this chair is comfortable. I have enough leg room. I really like that it has the sunshade. My back feels comfortable, but my feet don't touch the ground. And because of that, this chair is definitely not my favorite. All right, then we have the Pod Rocker. Now, I really like this one mainly because my feet can touch the ground nicely, and when I lean back, it rocks really smooth. I can't quite rest my arms on the outside like this. Kind of have to just keep them on the inside, but it's actually pretty comfortable. I definitely like that it has a sunshade and that I can sit up comfortably if I want to. And that you can just get kind of cozy and relaxed in this chair. So this is definitely one of my favorites. All right, then we have the sunshade rocker. Now my feet touch the ground nicely. I have plenty of leg room and I can get a really smooth rock. So far for me and my size, this might be my favorite, but real quick, let me try out the road trip rocker. Now, overall, I think that this chair just feels too big for me. My back doesn't feel supported. My feet don't touch the ground. And because my feet don't touch the ground, I can't quite get a good rock in this. Also, I don't really like that it does not have a sunshade. So for me, my favorite is going to be the sunshade rocker. It's really comfortable. It has all the features I'm looking for, the sunshade, the rocking, and most of all, my feet can touch the ground. Now let's see which one my husband picks out. Okay, so for me, I'm about six foot tall. I weigh about 230 pounds. Um, this is the Sunshade Comfort Pro chair. This chair is actually pretty comfortable. It feels really good on my back. It gives me like a lot of good back support. The armrests feel they feel fine. Um, lots of leg room width wise and everything. And I like the distance off the ground my knees are. Um, the height of the chair is pretty good. Unfortunately for me, I want a chair that rocks. So because of that, this one's out. Okay, and now we have the Sunshade Pod Rocker. This chair is very comfortable and very relaxing to be in. It, it rocks really nicely and it goes pretty far back. Um, the Sunshade's great. The uh, armrests are kind of different. They aren't really armrests, but they are. It's just kind of a loose fabric here, um, but it's enough that it keeps your arms kind of supported like this. There's good space for my legs to stretch out. Uh, my knees are a little higher, I think, than I want them, but it's not bad. It's, it's, very, it's actually pretty good. Um, the one thing for me is that because of this bucket-shaped seat, it's a little tight on my hips. Other than that, this is a pretty nice chair and it's definitely gonna be up there in the lineup. This is the Sunshade Rocker chair. The one thing I will say is the back feels a little more supported than the Pod Rocker did. My legs come a little too far forward off of the chair. I feel like half of my leg isn't supported and I feel a little low. I feel like I have to kind of work to recline back and then when I do recline back, I kind of get abruptly stopped a little sooner than I want to. All in all, not a bad chair. It's a little low for my height and the rocking's not quite as smooth and reclined as I'd like. And last, but certainly not least, the Road Trip Rocker. This is by far, for me, the most comfortable chair of all of them. My back feels supported. It has a nice rock to it. I feel like I can rock really far back and not get abruptly stopped at any point. I don't feel like it's forcing me forward like some of the other chairs did. 
And I really like the position and height of my knees in this chair. This has the solid arms. That is to me really comfortable and feels very sturdy. It doesn't have a sunshade. However, I know that they make attachable and detachable sunshades that you can just clamp onto your chair. So I'll probably end up going with one of those. The comfort, the fit, this chair is definitely my choice. I like this chair and this is what I'll be using this summer.